Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Over the years, as this committee has debated, passed, and overseen the implementation of the Dodd Frank Wall Street Reform Act, we've heard a number of doomsday scenarios about the consequences of new liquidity and capital requirements for uh, financial institutions. Well, as we celebrate the five-year anniversary of Dodd-Frank, and as these requirements have gone into effect, I'm pleased to report that the world hasn't ended. Today, our financial markets are stable and secure. Banks are making record profits, lending is up, and we have a financial system that is stronger, safer, and more resilient than ever before. Prior to the financial crisis, regulators were asleep at the switch. As banks leveraged up and concentrated their activities in risky mortgages while being allowed to rely on their own risk models, bank executives made huge bonuses on these short-term gains, but when the music stopped, it was taxpayers who took the losses. Dodd-Frank mandates that regulators work together to closely monitor the nation's large banks, setting a floor for capital and liquidity standards to ensure financial companies are risking their own capital rather than taxpayer money. Just this week, regulators finalized a rule that will require even higher capital standards at the largest globally systemic banks uh, that actively seek out their riskiest lines of business. While the implementation of Dodd-Frank is incomplete, it's already working. A staff report uh, by committee Democrats released this week found that Dodd-Frank has made our financial system more transparent, more stable, and more accountable by arming our regulators with vital tools to monitor the financial system for risk, increase transparency, and institute new investor protections. And to make certain this approach is not overly onerous, Dodd-Frank has created a flexible and tiered regulatory framework to ensure these heightened standards are tailored to banks of different sizes. Since the passage of Wall Street reform, the American economy has stabilized, adding around 12.8 million private sector jobs over 64 consecutive months of job growth, dropping the unemployment rate from its peak of 10 percent in 2009 to 5.3% currently. Mr. Chairman, when discussing the proper role of capital and liquidity, it's important to keep in mind that today our financial system is safer and stronger and that it has been in a generation. Regardless of the claims we hear from the most fervent opponents, I thank you and I yield back the balance of my time.